Hello Cancer, this is Wendy. Welcome to my channel, Wendy's Tarot. In this video, we're going to go ahead and ask the cards, what awaits for you in love for the first week of March, March 1st to March 7th, 2021? What awaits for you in love? Okay, I'm just going to give the cards one last shuffle. And I'm going to go ahead and look at your energy, Cancer, and then I'm going to look at the energy of whoever it is that you are connecting to in love. Just as a reminder, this is a general reading. It might not resonate with everyone, but if it does resonate, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And let's get started. Okay, Spirit, please show me the energy of Cancer in regards to love for the week of March 1st to March 7th, 2021. What do we have for Cancer? Okay, Cancer, first card we have here is the Three of Wands Reverse. Three of Wands Reverse. Next card is the Death card Upright. Death Upright. Next card is Seven of Wands Upright. And the last card is the Seven of Pentacles Reverse. Okay. Wow, so really aggressive energy, just right, uh, um, just looking at this as an overview here. So the Three of Wands Reverse represents no more waiting. When it's upright, it represents waiting, but when it's reverse, it's like the waiting is over. Um, the contemplating is over, because um, this can represent contemplation, wondering, um, looking out into your future and wondering what is in your future. Um, but when it's reversed, it's like you're not wondering anymore. You're like more clear. Um, it's like you understand your future better now, more clearly now. And with the death card reverse, it's an ending. So it's almost like, it's like, it's almost like something's not coming, basically. The Three of Wands reverse and the Death card, it's like you realize that there's something that has ended or that needs to end and there's no use waiting anymore for this. Because it's it's not going to manifest, it's not going to come and you realize that it's, it's the Death card, it has ended or it's going to end. And then we have here the Seven of Wands. So this is an energy of blocking someone. Um, you're blocking someone out here. You're cutting someone off. You're erasing someone here. You're defending yourself here against people who don't have your best interests. People who are attacking you, which are these wands here. Represents people that are attacking you. Um... Um, not, it doesn't have to be literally, it's, it's, this can just be people that just don't have your best interest at heart. That are negative or that are, you know, um, toxic in some way or, um, dangerous in some way. Um, so it's just people that are not good and you are here defending yourself and blocking it can be more than one person that you're blocking. It could be various people. <clears throat> or it could just be one person. And then we have the Seven of Pentacles reverse. So this represents, when it's upright, it represents, you know, you um, um, putting work into something, trying to make something grow. But when it's reverse, it's like you're no longer going to keep investing your time in and your energy into something, trying to make something grow, because you see now that it's a waste of time, and that um, it's not going to give you results, and it's like you understand that now, so it's like you're giving up, basically, the Seven of Pentacles, you're giving up on something that you invested your time into, but like I said, it's not giving you any reward, it's not giving you results, so yeah, the energy here is very direct. Um, 
it's like very clear. Um, there's no hesitation here. There's no indecisive energy. It's like, especially with the Seven of Wands, you know what you stand for. You know what you're worth. Um, you know your strength and your value. And yeah, you're, you're defending yourself um, against anyone who um, wants to take advantage of you or... Um, yeah, attack you in some way or another. Okay, so let's see the energy of whoever it is that you are connecting to. What is their energy? There's a big transformation here with the death card. There's a big transformation going on in your life. And like I said, with the Three of Wands reverse, it's like you were waiting a long time for something, but or um, hoping, uh, wishing for something, or trusting. Um, but when it's reverse, it's like you're no longer waiting for something, and um, it's like you're taking control of your life, basically. Spirit, please show me the energy of whoever it is that Cancer is connecting to in love. What is their energy, please? Okay, first card we have here is the Star Reverse. Might be connecting with an Aquarius. We have the Knight of Pentacles Reverse. We have the Chariot Reverse, okay, so, and we have the Ace of Pentacles Upright. Okay, so this is, um, this is what I was saying here, definitely, um, this person is not coming. It's like you were waiting for someone, and now you realize that they're not coming, that you were waiting for nothing, and I feel like this is confirmed in these cards, because we have the Chariot Reverse. And the chariot re reverse represents not not moving, not not taking action, being stuck, um, and choosing, you know, because um, the chariot is um, is a very aggressive energy. It's a very impulsive energy when it's upright, and it has a lot of like there's a lot of intention behind this energy, so. This is a card that moves forward in life, that represents moving forward in life, but like you taking the decision to move forward, not because anything is forcing you to move forward. It's because you're deciding to do to move forward for for yourself. But when it's reverse, it's like someone is being stubborn basically and choosing not to move forward, not choosing not to do anything, not to take any action. And also with the Knight of Pentacles reverse, um, this also represents someone who's choosing not to take any sort of action, who's not, they're not taking any sort of steps towards moving, moving towards a specific goal. So the Knight of Pentacles reverse doesn't have a goal in mind. They don't know what, where they're going. They don't have an objective. They don't have a destination. It's like they're pretty much lost. The Knight of Pentacles Reverse is lost. And the Star Reverse, it's like having no hope, feeling hopeless, having a lack of faith, a lack of optimism. So it can be very depressive. The Star Reverse can represent a kind of a depression energy. And we do have, um, as the last card, the Ace of Pentacles upright. So I do feel like this person um, did want to offer you something here with the, with the Ace of Pentacles upright. They wanted to offer you a relationship, a commitment. However, it's just like there's no action here behind this desire that they have it's like it's just something that they des they desire but they're not willing to move towards the manifesting 
what they desire, which is to offer you this commitment um, or this relationship. And with the Knight of Pentacles, they're not putting in the work, they're not putting in the effort, and they're not feeling motivated here with the Star Reverse. They're feeling just very much, um, there's a lot of water energy here, so it's like um, they're very much in their emotions, um, kind of like a drowning energy where they're drowning in their emotions, in their insecurities, and... Um, Yeah, they're just very much uh, ungrounded in their life. It's like in, in their own personal life, it's like things are just out of balance for them. And um, in more ways than one, it can be financially, in work, in career, in home, family. It, it almost feels like in every aspect, they're kind of just out of balance in their own personal life. And it's like they don't really have anything to give even though we have the ace of pentacles here it's like they they want to offer you this pentacle but they don't actually have this pentacle um so it's just a dream it's just a fantasy um for them but it's not something that is realistic for them they don't see it as something viable as something um that they can actually offer that it's not realistic um, yeah, it's it's like they, it's their life is just too complicated right now, and um, internally they just have a lot of um, emotional conflict internally, and it's like they're kind of empty, and their hands are empty. Um, they don't have this pentacle to offer so yeah they they're just choosing right now to just be by themselves and be isolated and not take any action at all so i do feel like like i said in your energy with the three of wands reverse you were waiting for this person um at first you didn't realize what was going on with this person here um the their troubles and their personal problems and you realize now that they are not going to come, they're not going to move towards you, they're not going to approach you, um, and you're ready to kind of, with the death card, to bring an ending to this connection, and you're blocking this person with the Seven of Wands. So yeah, Cancer, that's what I see. Let me know if any of this resonated and if it was helpful. Um, so yeah, uh, please subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Okay, bye Cancer.